because the outside world rejects you. Hey, what's up, Turtle fans? So we're going to talk about a little bit of some next mutation behind the scenes photos that are actually from the old Ninja Turtles website. This is NinjaTurtles.com back in 1998. We've done videos on this before, just kind of browsing around through the site. I said I'd always come back to it and maybe touch on some topics or pages that we really didn't get a chance to dive into on that flashback video. So here we are, we're gonna take a look at some of these behind the scene photos. This version of the Turtles was a strange outing. I know everybody usually rips on this one, but I just think it's fascinating looking at BTS stuff from the Turtles like 90s era, especially that it's live action, people in suits, that just doesn't happen anymore. So looking back on these old photos of this era, it's pretty cool to see even the next mutation Turtles. Let's go ahead and jump in and just take a look at what we got here. I've never seen these photos anywhere else. So let's jump straight into these. The quality of these photos is a bit blurry as the image sizes they used here on the website back in 1998 is very small. And I resized them to the best I could without losing too much quality but as you can see the page is titled ninja turtles the next mutation production photos page one there are 10 pages by the way the first image on page one is of eastman looking down at a donatello head the caption reads kevin ponders the new ninja turtle mask next we can see a couple of images of eastman with some of the turtle actors the caption on these read kevin giving motivational direction to some of the crew of tmnt actors now the last couple images here on page one are of one of the turtles with the actress that played venus joking around these ones say the crew having some fun the actress playing venus turtling around with one of the lads so far so good that's page one of these pictures let's move on over to page two first up on page two we have this image here of eastman with one of the turtles without a headband or any of the belts or anything like that just both giving a thumbs up the caption on this one says kevin with one of the next mutation turtles check out that grin and the turtle looks pretty happy too all right next one that is on this page is is of one of the turtle actors reading a book the book might look a little familiar here let me read the caption on this one it says one of the actors is relaxing by reading kevin and simon bisley's body count graphic novel from image comics and next on this page these are the last images on this page we have one of the turtle actors in a suit testing out some moves outside one posing a kick while kevin leans back these ones read kevin preparing for his new career as a stuntman no artists were hurt during the making of this photo it also says this tmnt actor is preparing to run the suit through a few stunts to see how well it'll hold up to the stress and strain of movement this carries on over into page three where we have this image here that says the special effects crew attaches the turtle head to the costume after this you see images of the actor or stunt person doing some moves and poses and that's pretty much all of page three let's move on over to page four okay so first thing you see when you get on this page is splinter's head and you could see it says a casting of splinter's new head there's no ears or fur that went on later next after that you see a picture that says sfx crew member holding up splinters casting then after that you see the villain dragon lord this appears to be a sculpture this one reads an early prototype sculpture of the dragon lord word is that this actually may not be used as the final version but we thought it was so cool we wanted everyone to see it anyways and you can see it there it does look like the final version so Maybe they weren't sure which one they were going to go with, but to me, it looks like the one they went with. Moving on to page five, you can see uh, just some photos of the turtles on set together. Here's one of Leo with Splinter playing chess, one of Leo and Venus, one of the turtles holding what appears to be, uh, it says here in the caption, the lads with some wacky crossbow looking thingies and then another group shot of the turtles all together moving on over to page six we see some behind the scene shots of bone steel one of the villains from the show and down at the bottom we can also see a cool picture of donnie pointing a blaster or something now page seven has a really great look at the dragon lord uh, if you read the caption on this one it says the finished new look dragon lord mask pretty freaking cool 
And uh, yeah, it looks cool here in this picture. It's a shame the show is as bad as it is because some of this stuff, especially like in certain lighting, looks pretty cool. When you watch the actual show though, everything's like overly lit and the comedy is just bad and over the top. But I can't help but wonder after seeing some of these pictures, if something cooler could have come out of it if they would have improved on some things. I don't know, but we do get another view here of the Dragon Lord sort of. This image saying the actor playing the Dragon Lord is being fitted for the costume Obviously, the suit is in real rough form at the time of this photo, with no painting being done to define things. Still, it looks kind of nifty. For those who don't remember, this is what the final version ended up looking like. So it's kind of neat seeing how it was put together and stuff. Uh, down below this, also on page 7, you can see the character Van Me, the vampire. One of her showing off her teeth. We move on to page 8. About to wrap it up here with a couple more pages. We can see some images of Venus. Caption here reading Venus de Milo ready for battle. And underneath these we could also see more pictures of the Dragon Lord. This time his suit looks complete. And he seems to be standing like in a back lot or something just in different angles. This one says a better look at the new arch nemesis Dragon Lord. A page 9 has a few shots of the Dragon Lord's henchmen. The rank. And below that, a pretty cool shot of Dragon Lord's annoying sidekick, Wick. Pretty cool seeing these things on the back lot. Gives me like a different perspective of looking at these characters and stuff. For a long time, I only remember seeing them on the show and stuff. Seeing them behind the scenes like this is very interesting. And finally, the last page, page 10. Uh, here you could see another one of the villains from the show, Dr. Quis. You could see him from different angles as well, different costumes also. And at the bottom of the page, a look at a different type of rank henchman. But that's pretty much it on these old, rare, behind the scenes, next mutation photos. What did you think of them? Have you ever seen any of these before? I would stumbled across these a while back and I had never seen them before, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. There's some more stuff on this old NinjaTurtles.com from back in the 90s and early 2000s website that I'll end up covering down the road in future videos. But for now, we'll just leave it there. Thanks everyone for stopping by. If you're new to the channel and you want more turtles in your life, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. That's all we talk about on here is new, old, and upcoming turtle stuff. You're not going to want to miss any videos coming in the future also hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video helps out the channel thanks once again everybody for watching i will see you in a little bit with another one take care Pizza dude's got 30 seconds.